I think that one of the most overlooked skills that every great point guard and every great leader possesses is the ability to give reminders. To give reminders. If you give reminders, your teammates will play better. If you give reminders, your teammates will play better. Guys, we got two timeouts left. Don't forget number 12 is a shooter. Don't forget when we inbound the ball, they're probably going to try to foul us, so make sure you stay tough with the ball. If you give reminders, your teammates will play better. And keep in mind that reminders are only useful before they're needed. Reminders are only useful before they're needed. Let's say, let's say Justin is my teammate, and let's say it's another one of those late game crucial possessions and we're on defense. And let's say Justin's guarding the other team's best three-point shooter. So we come down, and let's say Justin lets that guy come off a screen, and he gets a wide open three-point shot, and he nails it. And now we're down two. Well, if running back down the court, I look at Justin, and I say, Justin, he's a shooter. Get a hand up. Well, did that reminder have any impact on what just happened? Not at all. That's not an example of leading. That's an example of just complaining about something after the fact, which is what most players do. A good point guard will recognize a situation before it happens and give their reminder then. A good point guard, before that play even begins to develop, will know, all right, crucial possession. Justin's guarding their best shooter. I better give Justin a reminder. And at that point, the point guard will look at Justin and say, Justin, he's a shooter. Make sure you get a hand up. Now that reminder has got a pretty good chance to affect what's about to happen. That reminder has a pretty good chance to make Justin better on this possession. So not only do you want to get in the habit of giving your teammates reminders, you want to always give a reminder before it's needed, which means you've got to give a lot over and over and over because you don't know what reminders are going to be needed. Again, things like, hey, we only got one timeout left. Don't forget, you can run the baseline. Don't forget, number 12 is left-handed, push him this way. Don't forget, we're switching this back screen on this next possession. So get in the habit of giving reminder after reminder after reminder after reminder before it's too late. So great floor leaders are in the habit of constantly giving information that's relevant to the play at hand. Not chatter, but relevant information, meaningful talk to their teammates. In a nutshell, precision is doing all the things that say, I care enough to be above average. It's doing all the things that say, I care enough to be above average. Good point guards develop what I call a ridiculous attention to detail. A ridiculous attention to detail. If you want to be somebody who's a master of precision, you better develop a ridiculous attention to detail.